Musa Noi Mine in the Katanga. Um, famous, of course, as you see here, for the Torbanites. In this case, this this is some older material. Um, what What's interesting here, the matrix for the Torbanites is pretty typical, where you have this this sort of a, 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 a cream to, to going into a, a grayish matrix. But what's happening here, we have a layer of malachite across it, and then we have these on some sections, and then we have these little turbinate blades. There is some contact to the blades, but generally a pretty aesthetic piece. Uh, Size-wise, just under a palm size. Of course, please note that this material is uh, 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 not meant for crystal healing. It's a little bit uh, uh, radioactive, mildly radioactive, of course, uh, no more than your household appliances, perhaps, but uh, still not meant for crystal healing. So this is meant for display purposes. Very interesting piece. Uh, uh, these uh, minerals from Musanoi, which is an open cast mine, are pretty rare, and I think it's it's more about uh, just the availability. Or the, there is a lot out there, but uh, no one's digging it. Uh, all a product of this. This would have been open cast mining uh, in the Katanga. Musanoi mine, famous of course for the the, the, the large diversity of uh, um, let's call them hot minerals which come out of there.